What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and we have the new Bloom Uncounted Champions in the summoning portal, so I've decided I'm gonna chase the companion because it's worth it not only for the trait, but also for both the male and the female champions. Let's do this. But first, download Jumpstone Legends, a mobile RPG puzzle match game. Use the link in the description to start with free stuff, including a bonus hero. All right, so I already did a video analyzing these champions, including what traits go on them best, how to use them, what's better, the male or the female, so make sure to go check that one out. I'm not gonna waste any more time in this one. I wanna dive in and summon because I am excited about these champions and getting the companion, so let's go 10 at a time. I've got 318 summoning crystals. I hope that's enough to get the companion, but it's not a guarantee. I've heard people going up to 400 or more. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope I get lucky. Let's go without any further ado, 10 at a time. I'm gonna skip through the animations here. Oh, oh, all rare heroes. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Looked like there was an epic up there. Um, okay, let's hope this gets better. Oh, we got a legendary. This one is uh, actually one of the new clans here. Um, Galabar. I do like the female a lot. The male is very, very good in this one, too. You can go check out my videos on that as well. Um, but, oh, there we go. We got some companion uh, shards down there, or whatever you want to call those. You need to summon 300 if you want to guarantee that you get the mythic of both the male and the female. We did get a mythic uh, champion here. Huntsdorf, not worth it, um, but we do have a legendary fodder there for when we do get the mythics um, of the new Bloom Uncounted clan, and uh, we did get another companion shard, so that's good. Working our way towards the companion. Oh, ouch. I don't want to see that page anymore. <laughs> Just a bunch of rare fodder. I'll tell you what, though. I don't feel bad about getting fodder um, because, well, I need to level the heroes up anyway, right? But I would prefer to get the companion shards. Oh, we got another mythic there. Here's a special one. Um, I'll just let the animation play here for a moment. Um, this is a Scorching Fire. Um, I, I do think it's a fun hero. He's pretty good. But he's kind of gone by the wayside. Uh, there's definitely a lot more overpowered champions. I actually don't even think he came out. I mean, he came out on par with some of the other champions that are part of the base game, but um, he hasn't really shown that he's uh, anything to write home about, in my opinion. Oh, we got another mythic here. Um, I'm going to start... Uh, I'll show a few of these because they're special, but... I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that. This is Strixbane. He's okay. He's okay. The first couple of uh, special champions they created, I don't think they were powered up enough to entice people to really chase them. Um, he's kind of there too. He's good. He's fine. But... Oh! Okay, this is a good one. This was a good summons because not only did we get a couple of the companion shards down there, but female Orost is awesome. I love her. A really great crowd control champion. Um, problem is with her, though, her special's been bugged for, like, as long as she's been out. So they do need to fix that. Otherwise, she would just be an overwhelmingly amazing crowd control champion. Always glad to have more Mythic Orosts. All right, that wasn't too special. Okay, got another companion shard, that's okay. I don't think I'm picking up companion shards at the rate I want to be though. I feel like I need uh, I need to pick up the rate of them or I'm not gonna get it in the 318. Okay, got some more fodder. I don't know about this summons. It's uh, not one of my better ones. Oh, 
This is painful. Painful. Oh, man. I am not going to get the companion at this rate. Oh, I will get it at that rate, though. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's awesome. That just makes up for all the <laughs> the bad summons I've just had. 26 companion shards in one summon. <laughs> That's so good. That is so good. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Ooh. Okay, guys. Mel Goldtongue. Mythic. He is good. And he is underused. People do not use him enough. He's particularly good against the single bosses where you have those matches that go on for like two minutes. Um, because when he ults, he just attacks so fast and builds up so much damage. Um, and he gains life. Uh, so when you're fighting in any of those situations where you need to keep your champions alive for a long time, he's great. He's really really great i like him a lot um i actually want to keep leveling him up uh really good in certain circumstances not all circumstances but many Ugh. Yeah. he's gonna be fodder <laughs> these are maybe not the worst champions they've come out with but they don't match up with anything else that's out right now her rule a rule, a rule. All right, five more companion shards. What are we up to? I wonder for that. I'm gonna go all the way to 300 because I want to get both the mythic male and female, guaranteed. And I think multiples of them are gonna be good, for multiple teams. Just saying, um, and and multiples of either one, actually. Come on, I'm hitting the skip button. Yeah, nothing good in that one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ten more companion shards, and we also got another mythic female Oros. Man, I'm getting a lot of female mythic Oros. If you've watched my other summon videos, you know she's one I keep getting over and over. She's good. I'm going to have to just... I don't have the companion, so I haven't been, like, leveling that one up, but... I might have to. I'm getting enough of them now. All right. All right. I'll take more companion shards. Let's see. Come on. Skip. We're up to 230 summons now. Uh, female Samir Legendary. Alright, 68 summons left. Oh, we got a Mythic there. That's a, a base champion I've covered before. We won't waste time on that. Yeah. Come on. We're at 270. Okay. I'm going to examine this when I get to 300 uh, to see how close I am to the companion because I haven't been keeping track. Uh, but I may need to summon more than 318 if I don't quite have it. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. Another companion there, and we've hit 300. So now I've got my guaranteed male and female. Um, I'm going to run through this, get these, and take a look at the companion shards that I have to see if I have the companion yet. At the 150 summons reward slot, we have our mythic male bloom uncounted champion. And we also get some gold medals. Man, that is a long animation. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. It's stunning, actually. But when and if I get the companion, that is going to be a lot of animation to watch. 
um, as I'm creating more of the champions through airs, just saying. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. And at the 300 summons reward slot, we have our mythic female. Oh yeah, I am excited about these to start leveling them up. So let's let's go check on the status of that companion and see if uh, 300 summons was enough to get her. All right. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Plenty, plenty. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Yeah. So I am definitely. Um, let's go ahead and cruise here real quick, and then. Um, yeah, I am definitely going to be going to level these up and see how they do. So make sure you're subscribed for that because I'll test them out. Give my opinion on what's best after I get the feel for them. Right now I'm leaning towards the male, putting my resources into. Um, but of course, I think the female looks great for different reasons as well. Um, you can check out my other video I did on that. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And I will catch you in the next one.